So, I mean, it's it's. I was just reading through this too, and after watching the movie, it, it's it kind of almost seems like a miracle that this was actually actually made. I oh, mean, made, like, finished, finished anything, yeah, and distributed and everything. I mean, yes, like you talk about like, just the first initial like impetus of like like the the germ of the idea that came and like when that actually came. Oh, when it first, I mean, it was it was a really long time ago. It was like two, I think it was late two thousand three. I start I, when I first started writing, and I I've been going through a relationship that kind of rocked my world a little bit. Yeah, and uh, in the wake of it, I think I, I was having a difficult time making sense of what had happened, and then uh, the idea sort of came in for the script. I was like, I should make something about this. Yeah, so it's a weird, weird segue. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and like, I mean, was it was it like a was it hard getting the money together just to the actual get the production rolling, or was that yes. kind of a long arduous thing too? It, it was. What well, well, was I? I think I was going to try and make the film uh, in like two thousand three, two thousand four. Uh, but I, I wasn't able to figure it out. I was like, it was, it was too, it was, there was too much to do, and I, I wasn't able to raise money or anything. I, I don't think I was even trying then. I was just trying to figure out how to make it on a camcorder with like, my friends. Yeah. Uh, and then, but it, it was stuck in my head that I was like, I, was, I knew I was going to make the movie. It was going to be the next movie or the first feature film I was going to make. Yeah. So, I don't know. It just took money. I think <laughs> when we finally, no yeah, <laughs> when we finally started, it was just we had to start. Yeah. And there wasn't going to be help, and it, we just got to the point where we had to just do it. And then yeah. that sort of got the ball rolling, and then from there, it, I mean, it was a challenge, but then we were able to somehow scrape our way to the end. Yeah, because yeah, funding never came in. We yeah. yeah. <laughs> moral, moral of the story, you just have to, you just have to do it, like, and... Just make well, it work. And it's probably, I mean, to be honest, it's probably good that it happened that way, too, because if, if, it's just some of the things you see in the movie and just some of the, the things, like, on the set, like, with the flamethrower almost, exp or maybe possibly exploding and things like that. You, oh. can't, you can't have that happen on, on a normal movie. I mean, oh, yeah, there, there are so many checks and balances that they would, they would kind of... Uh, Joel, get... Joel gets excited about that. He always <laughs> says that he, like, that's, like, a big deal to him. Which? Just that he, like, when you can see that it's, like, one of us in the car doing, like, crazy donuts or something, yeah. like, it's <laughs> actually us firing the flamethrower and stuff. Yeah. And he's like, that wouldn't happen on any other movie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, they would have movie. like someone else do it or something. Yeah, they would have stunt thing. Sweet, sweet stunt, stunt double. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they probably, my stunt double probably would have had a way nicer body than me. Yeah, yeah mine me too. too. Yeah. <laughs> Different color hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. double yeah. for the whole thing. And Huge my face Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, and like, like, was the was the car like in like that that version of the car? Did that go through several different different versions as well? Or yeah, essentially, yeah. Well, because we bought it. And then, because it starts in the movie as just a 72 yeah. Skylark, and then since the characters build it throughout the movie, Evan uh, and Paul Edwardson, basically we'd shoot all day, and then if the next day we needed a scene where the car had, you know, gone had to the next phase, yeah. it would be shoot all day, and then Evan and Paul would stay up all night, like, working on the car, yeah. just so that the car was ready for the, you know, <laughs> for scene or for shoot, shooting yeah. the next day. So, yeah, it was, like, an intricate process as we were filming the movie to build the car along with the movie, yeah. so... I feel like the car was the diva of the movie. It really <laughs> was. No, <laughs> really seriously. It just was no, yeah. difficult. It quit many times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not yeah. coming to set, just not wanting <laughs> yeah. to work. Uh, yeah. eating so much gas. Well, and like on any of these other movies too that have like that have, are car centric, they have you know fifty of them. Yeah, yeah. 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 They would have yeah, one exactly. for each for each phase. There would be like the the, the, the base one before it transformed, and then like five yeah. in between ones, and then one that was like cut in half. Yep. <laughs> yeah, and, like sweet shots. Yeah. 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 So uh, you guys have have the car here, I believe. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's yes, parked right outside. Yeah, somewhere. it's close by. Yeah. So, are you guys like doing like little demos as well too? I heard that like you're doing like there's a like, drive along uh, or, or something. Yeah, like that. I, I don't know exactly what we're doing, but I do know that I was told not to do anything dumb <laughs> because we, because we had a specific thing scheduled for the car tonight, like a photo shoot. Yeah, and, and so they told me not to like shoot flames or do donuts or anything. that might get me arrested or lose the car. <laughs> Before, yeah. before then. Like well, the fire department had to call our police. Yeah. Like, yeah. Personally. So, to be like, so, a, so after I know tonight, you guys are yeah, I guess after tonight we're allowed to get arrested. Yeah. But <clears throat> but we feel special because apparently word got out that we were coming with the car and it like made its way all the way to the mayor's office. Oh wow. And he called yeah. the fire department and then yesterday at like seven a.m. our publicist started getting calls about the, from the fire department being like just so you guys know like we're watching you. And they're uh, usually they're usually like don't shoot flames wink wink. Yeah, so like, like no, whoops. I'm serious. I'm not, <laughs> yeah. I'm not winking. So yeah, so if we disappear out of town tomorrow night, 
you guys will know why. Yeah, you'll know why. So, like, I mean, how did the... the the, the, I know there's a lot of movies that like they are weekend movies or that you you'll shoot <clears throat> stuff here and there. Was it? Did you guys have a succinct like uh, yeah a full we full went for schedule? we went for with, with no with no money we, we made a schedule and, <laughs> and a lot of us quit our jobs. People everybody helped each other out. Some yeah. people were staying on each other's couches, and we just we were like we were I think we were trying to play, shoot it in like about a month. It ended up being ninety days, but we weren't going to stop till we got all of it. And it ended up going yeah. just like. And then we were shooting pickup shots for yeah, and then, and then it was and then, and, yeah, so it was a ninety day block of shooting to get the majority of the movie, and then for all the stuff that we were that we re just literally weren't able to get like if the car the car blew up during the main shoot cycle, yeah, so we couldn't get so a lot of the car stuff and uh, all the stuff that cost money, and then it became a weekend movie for two and a half years. After. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it was funny because at that point, a lot of the people like I had moved out of town at the time, and like people had sort of dispersed once we finished the main section of shooting. Sure. So then it would be like a huge ordeal to get everyone back to town and then, you know, to get organized and go shoot, like, out in the desert with the car, you know, yeah. so, yeah, so a lot of the pickup shots were super fun, but, like, difficult, and, yeah. Because we'd been away from it. So. <coughs> yeah, except that, that was where I, I, I found out the actual benefit of casting myself as the lead, yeah. which I wasn't even thinking about. Initially, it wasn't supposed to be a logistical thing, but then when no one was around, I could think of ways to restructure things of, I need a part, so I, I, yeah. there's probably a lot more solo scenes in there than <laughs> well, yeah, than was in the script. And yeah, yeah. and we're, jo we're joking about me having a body double, but I guess I actually sort of did. You did, oh, you did, because yeah. like a lot of times, like I wouldn't be around for pickup shots, so yeah. like uh, Joel probably. A Joel, Vince, time, different people, different like, people would step in. You, you had a body hand. You handed me weed, but it wasn't you. You handed me a pipe for me to smoke, and it was a yeah. hand. Became a I know. And you're supposed to assume it might even be like a girl or something. <laughs> well, a girl. But I mean, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, big nail polish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like, <laughs> Can you talk about some of the some of the acting challenges on something like this when you're kind of, kind of getting down and dirty with it and just real kind of guerrilla filmmaking? Oh wow, that's Ooh. intense. You guys talk. That is intense. Um, <laughs> acting challenges. I feel like um, because of the kind of movie that it was, the intense schedule and the just crazy um, exhaustion and everything worked for our characters. So like the challenges ended up being kind of like what made it. Yeah. you know, work for us, and, like, certain intense scenes, like, were really easy because we had already been through, like, intense yeah. stuff, so, I mean, for me, yeah. But like, I not eating, I guess. Oh, yeah, well, and we, it, luckily, we had had the script, and we'd been all working on it so closely for so long that, mm. in a way, it was, it was easy to, well, in a way, it was easy to go and pick up scenes because you intricately knew your character yeah. and what you were supposed to be doing and stuff, but, like, yeah, a lot of the challenges were technical, like, based around, you know, like, like what we're talking about, if the car broke down, or, like, you know, or we've oh, been out all night working, shooting, right. and, like, since we didn't have any money, a lot of the times, like, you just had to go for it when you could. Mm -hmm. So, like, yeah. if you had been up for two days and hadn't eaten all day, and, like, you were supposed to go have a scene where you're, like, all energetic and having a great time, like, yeah. you just had yeah. to find that somewhere and pull it out, and, like, for at least for that couple hours, and then, you know, then you'd go and crash, or... Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was that, a challenge. That was like, that, the day that, like, the day we shut the scene when we were walking out of the house when, when we decided yes. to go to Texas. Yes. And, like, for two days before that, there had been, like, we, we had had the car, the, the van break down in yes. the desert, and I literally didn't even lay down that night. Right. And then and then something happened the next night, and you, you can see me in the scene, I'm, like, trying to be, but it looks like I have two black eyes. It looks like someone, like, punched me out. <laughs> yeah. I just, like, had to slept in three days. <laughs> but there was a lot of that kind of stuff. That that was difficult. You guys, right. uh, you guys working on anything else right now, like, different scripts that you're... Uh, yeah, a couple. We have uh, John Keeble, who is another person on our uh, on our team, has a script called San Diego Twins that yeah, he's working on. Really excited Ironically. about. <coughs> and then, yeah, uh, here we are. Here we are, finally. Yeah, and then and then uh, and I have a script I'm working on that as soon as stuff slows down with this, I'm gonna start a push on it. Yeah, cool. it doesn't have a name though, so that's not very exciting uh, to talk about. The the infamous untitled. Yeah, it's, it's, the untitled, it's untitled mystery yeah. project. Yeah. <laughs> the project I'm working. On. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're excited to work again because we yeah. all are the type of people who like. We have an anxiety about needing to work and needing to produce and yeah. create and, you know, explore things. So I know we're all excited to get through this process, which has been super exciting and yeah. new and fun, and get back to a place where we can work and, you know, create things and yeah. expel some of that creative energy that I, I know a lot of us have, like, bottled up inside of us. So. And just locked in rooms, editing and stuff. Love that, right? I love that. Yeah. I love that. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're hoping the next movie doesn't take eight years to finish. Yeah. But 
you know, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe four. Or this time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, do you think? I mean, would you have to like? I mean, coming from from this experience, and like, I mean, would it be weird if you went right to like maybe a big summer movie, like a like a tentpole or something like that, with with all this? For, for me, for yeah. I mean, for me as a director, yes, I yeah. I, I don't think I would do that. For Even if I had actors. the opportunity, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. For so, us as actors as well, like we kind of want to work forever instead of. Well, yeah. <laughs> we're yeah. for five yeah. minutes. Yeah. Well, and also, yeah. Yeah. Minutes. yeah, we've also developed sort of a Co Wolf has developed sort of a style of shooting which we're comfortable with and we know. So, like, obviously, yeah. we want to go on to you know bigger and different and better things, but uh, we'll probably try to keep sort of our the way we work sort of intact because okay. it's you know it's something we like and it gives us an opportunity to you know create things that we like. So yeah. I don't know why we'd get out of that necessarily, yeah. but obviously. There'll come a time where we get to that place, and cool. hopefully, so. So, just uh, what would you like to say with the, the Comic Con crowd or anyone that's curious about Belfar, about whether they should uh, check it out in theaters? Uh, you should, you should watch it. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, because there's flamethrowers, boobs, cars, and guns. Well, and love. And love. <laughs> and love. Yes. Well, those are the boobs. Well, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, people should go see it because it's a fun movie. Yeah.